Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel Foodish Beauty. If you're new here, my name is TJ and welcome to my beauty, travel and luxury lifestyle channel. Now today's video is going to be a little bit, well not a little bit, quite a huge Sephora haul video for you guys. I know I haven't been around for a few weeks, please excuse my absence once again but as always, I am always on Instagram if I'm missing hair on YouTube. Anyways, today's video, as I said, is going to be a Sephora haul. If you are new here and you didn't know, and you can't tell from my accent, I actually live in the UK where Sephora is not even available, and I literally have to get on a VPN to access Sephora's US website. Hence why you don't see that many Sephora hauls or Sephora VIP sale recommendations on my channel, simply because it's just not that relevant in this country. But Mike, my husband, was able to go out very last minute on the last weekend of the sales, so of course your girl was going to place an order. Now with that backstory, let's jump straight into the haul because there are so many goodies around me and I'm super excited. Right folks, this is the bag that is the kind of ratio to my head. It's uber heavy. I'm just going to pull out things randomly, I think, hopefully in some kind of order. The first thing I got is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This has been on my wish list for a long time, ever since Mel Thompson started talking about it. We still haven't got this in the UK yet. And spoilers alert, I already love it. I used it three times already today, kind of before applying my makeup after I applied my makeup and also right before I started filming just as a refresher as well. I will say this is not the most refreshing of mist because it is a little bit of a biphase. In fact, it's not water. It is 84% watermelon fruit extract in here and it is free from alcohol synthetic dyes free from silicon parabens mineral oil sulfates and phthalates so i would highly recommend this because it is free from alcohol compared to any other mists on the market right now it's just really refreshing and it doesn't dry out your skin another skincare product i picked up from sephora this time around is the dr dennis gross clinical grade resurfacing liquid peel. Now this product we actually just started to um, be able to get hold of in the UK as well but in the Sephora sale the price is just way too good. So this is basically a two-step at home clinical peel. Um, so you have one bottle that is a lactic acid, glycolic acid, bromelain, peel and then the second step is your neutralizer. This is definitely on the high strength end of the scale when it comes to acids and liquid peel. So I'm um, super excited to try this out because your girl love a good chemical peel and I'll definitely keep you guys posted on Insta story most likely. Also from Dr. Dennis Gross, I ordered the Hyaluronic Marine Collagen Lip Cushion. This I used right before for today's makeup went on and also I have it on right now underneath my lipstick. I would say this is definitely not a balm because it doesn't have that balm texture. It feels like I'm putting moisturizer on my lips. It is meant for people who have dry lips and upper lip lines. I have upper and lower lip lines and apparently it will give you hydrated, full, smooth and kissable lips. So anything that helps my dry lips always is a plus, but the jury is definitely out on this one, so I'll keep you guys posted on whether it live up to all of these claims. Next up, I bought the Kaja Radiant Mousse Primer. This definitely has to be a Caffeine Lights enabled item. I actually, ironically, watched her Sephora record recommendations video right before I placed my order I think so there are a few things in this basket definitely was enabled by caffeine light uh, this being one of them it just looked so good on her skin this is basically a radiance primer in a mousse form I would say it does look quite kind of micro glittery under certain lighting but during daylight on my on the back of my hand it doesn't look 
all that glowy and it certainly doesn't feel super hydrating so once again this is something I'm gonna have to try for a little bit on my skin to see whether it even dries out my skin now some more products from Kaja the Korean cool brand as well as slightly influenced by Kathleen lights once again I picked up some of their moon crystal sparkling eye pigments these are just absolutely gorgeous to be honest i was already eyeing these up before i watched her video and her praising these just kind of solidified my desire for these and i definitely will be picking up more of these because they're just absolutely gorgeous i will say one downside to these is if you apply a slightly heavier layer they would definitely emphasize the texture on the skin around your eyes so that is something to be kept in mind they are similar to the milk makeup pigments but i do think these look nicer has more kind of multi-dimensional shimmer to them so yeah highly recommend i will definitely be picking up more of these when i go to the states i also picked up some more glittery shimmery stuff from another korean brand this time from touch and soul and this is their metalist sparkling foiled pigment in the shade golden tangerine now if you're new to my channel or you just didn't know before i'm actually super allergic to an ingredient called carmine which is a red dye so unfortunately a lot of these shades in this specific formula contains carmine so i was only able to pick out one shade which is of course golden tangerine it is beautiful so if you're not allergic to carmine i highly recommend the rest of the shades as well well. These are just so reflective. It really reminds me of the Marc Jacobs uh, topper that they came out earlier this year but I think this is slightly more finely milled and it has a bit more pigment underneath as well. On to some more skincare products that I ordered this time from Drunk Elephant. I picked up the TLC from Boo's Glycolic Night Serum. I really love the vitamin b1 that they have i can't remember it for the life of me i will place it on screen right now i use it every night although i don't read the label as up here but it's super hydrating now when it comes to skincare i'm very much a one in one out kind of minimalist sort of girl that way i know exactly what suits my skin and what my skin doesn't like so at the moment there is a glycolic serum gap that has appeared in my kind of skincare routine so i'm eager to try this one out and as per usual i will keep you guys posted on instagram something else i ordered from drunk elephant is the tlc sukari baby facial now even though we have drunk elephant here in the uk but this specific product we don't actually have i think available in the uk something to do with the acid level i believe but anyway this is my second bottle because i picked up my last one again from the us when i was there last time and i really like this baby facial it's not too stripping and as i said before i love my acid peels and this is one of those that really gives good result and just leaves your skin really glowy really kind of baby smooth as the name suggests now this next item is definitely a result of browsing what's new at sephora tab just before you're about to place your order don't do that <laughs> it's not wise but anyway it happened and this is the Fasali liquid glass radiance make skin serum with hyaluronic acid this just looks like unicorn tears <laughs> it's so bright apparently this was a relaunch that something super popular that they brought back into their permanent collection so i'm super excited to be trying this out next up can you tell by my grin that I'm really happy that I got this in the sales because it ain't cheap and I'm talking about the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Palette? Palette. <laughs> this is just so beautiful. It has been available both in the US and the UK for a while and I held off for the longest time because I'm not going to lie, as you can see my skin is quite fair and I am not super into super red blushes and this shade I was definitely feeling a little bit intimidated by this mega red shade in here but after seeing so many people using it similar to my skin tone I am very very certain I can use this and make it work and to be honest at the end of the day this shade might have drawn me into this palette as well by the end because 
we are approaching summer and I absolutely love that kind of not quite burnt after sun look you know a much deeper blush look with some freckles maybe I'll do a tutorial on that please let me know she's coming out with the bronze palette soon very very soon if not already so yes I'll definitely be snatching that one up as well I think these formulas are just so stunning now along the same vein of that bloom palette I also picked up something else from NARS yes it's not from Sephora but because NARS is available from Sephora and I literally just picked this up recently let's just get it over and done with all in one go and this is the NARS fire clay blush palette or cheek palette I believe this came out a while ago I have to say I picked this palette up before I got the bloom palette or before I knew I was going to get the bloom palette so I think it's not 100% necessary to pick this up as well as the bloom palette and the finished result or the finished shade could be quite similar it's that kind of beautiful after sun effect another one of my most recent NARS purchase again it is old news probably to North American market but just look at this palette though it's so beautiful the packaging is stunning Stunning. so are the products inside if you follow me on Instagram you probably will have seen me go into Charlotte Tilbury recently to swatch the Glowgasm collection and in that story I actually said I'm gonna skip the Glowgasm collection entirely because I had this palette in mind it is just so so stunning these shades these blush shades are so versatile I can't wait to use them you can mix and match of course and they're just so glowy and the highlighter I am using it today on my cheeks can you see that glow guys this is just heavenly this next product is from Sephora it is the NARS hot night face palette this I had to order from Sephora because it is not yet available here in the UK and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it because these colours are just so beautiful. I have been loving warm tones lately and I do find myself kind of gravitate towards warm tones in the summer when it when the weather really warms up speaking from a full face of cool tone of course i haven't really got to play around with this palette yet but i did use the bronzer today on my face and it's a really pretty i would say rosy toned bronzer so it's not too warm and it's definitely not too ashy it's very complimentary for light fair to light skin tone maybe up to medium so anything beyond medium I think this is definitely too light for you guys I'm afraid now we can't really talk about NARS without talking about the orgasm blush and the entire new orgasm collection I didn't really pick up anything else other than the brand new orgasm limited edition blush this blush comes in the limited edition matte rose gold packaging it's so beautiful it's a huge size and word on the street is this is meant to be NARS's best formulation of the orgasm blush to date so of course I was going to pick it up the cream orgasm palette I've heard so many mixed messages about that specific palette I'll put it on the screen right now so I think I will have to see that palette in person in order to purchase it but if you have it please leave me a comment down below to let me know how you're getting on with those cream blushes I'm so intrigued some more cheating products these are from Pat McGrath again because I didn't know I was going to get this chance to shop at Sephora until the very last minute I picked these up without any discount sadly from Selfridges but of course because they're available from Sephora they're featured in here the Pat McGrath fetish eyes mascara I'm wearing it today for the very first time now if you're a long time follower of my channel or of my Instagram you will know my love for Pat McGrath products especially their eyeshadows I'll link some of the review videos that I've done before right on the information bar but anyways I had high hopes for this and I have to say, I don't know, I would rank this 
probably at a 6 or 7 out of 10 for my first impression because it doesn't seem to lengthen all that much although it does give me good volume. It is not overtly clumpy but however it does remind me a little bit of the NARS Climax mascara which I didn't get on with at all. So I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted on how this fares as it dries more and more in the tube, see if it flakes etc etc. So far I've had it on for hours, I've had ramen noodles and it hasn't smudged whatsoever so smudging wise it seems to be fine. Another Pat McGrath item that I bought and I wish I ordered more from Sephora is her latest release single eyeshadows. These I swatched in Selfridges are just heavenly and because your girl missed out on the opulence palette and a lot of these shades are kind of repeat shades from the opulence palette I would definitely be hunting down more of these but the caveat is some of them do contain carmine so I really need to be in store to read up every single ingredients to make sure that I'm not allergic to them. But anyway, the shade and only shade I got recently is called Crimson Fire. This is a beautiful fiery shimmery crimson shade as the shade name suggests. And surprisingly enough, it doesn't contain carmine. I was ecstatic when I found that out and I can't wait to use this. Oh my goodness, we actually made it. This is my last item that I ordered and there are a lot of them. <laughs> uh, so I'm talking about the Cover Effects Monochromatic Blush Duos. I ordered five of these. Okay, hear me out. My reason is the fact that these are actually vegan. Now, looking at all of these shades, they are blushy, they're reddish, they're berry tones. These are all the kinds of colours that I can't find or really hard to find in vegan formulas. Vegan means they don't contain carmine. Carmine, by the way, is the red pigment I'm allergic to that is actually crushed up beetle bugs. Yes just let that sink in um, but anyway that's why I had to pick up so many of these I'm also I'm planning to wear a lot of these on my eyes as eyeshadows as well so it's really really important that these are vegan and don't contain carmine I'm actually wearing one of these today on my cheeks and the shade I'm wearing is warm honey this is what it looks like it's so beautiful oh it's so 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 beautiful the application the final finish the smoothness everything i've yet to try these on my eyes and oh i just can't can't wait well that is it my friends actually i lied <laughs> just a disclaimer true story i actually left out all of my tatcha orders off of my list so Mike wasn't able to pick them up because he's not telepathic. So yes, I am actually heartbroken over the fact that I'm not able to shop my Tatcha wish list with that 20% off, how good would that be? But if you have any Tatcha recommendations, I would definitely love to hear from you. So please leave them down below in the comments. So anyway, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, especially if you're still watching right now, please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the video subscribe to the channel keep in touch and turn on the notification bell for my next video and of course don't forget to come over and find me on instagram where i'm always active uploading some kind of content one or the other anyways i'm gonna love you and leave you take care my friends and i'll see you next time bye